Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. In this episode, I'm going to talk about something weird, which is are we living in a computer simulation? Um, I know it's a weird concept, but I uh, was introduced of this uh, concept when I was studying in the UK back in 2014. One, one of my flatmates who is from Thailand uh, told me, showed me this article saying that some um, professors at Oxford has announced, has uh, released his uh, essay about uh, the possibility that we are living in a computer simulation. And since then I was fascinated by this idea that we might be living in a computer simulation. So today I'd like to talk about uh, some of my ideas on this topic. So, um, do you know that Elon Musk, who is a founder of SpaceX or Tesla Motors, are also uh, arguing that we are living in a computer simulation. And we've also seen many movies uh, de describing the computer simulation, such as Matrix or The 13th Floor, which is quite an old movie, but is one of my favorites, or Inception. And also dramas like Black Mirror, which is on Netflix, is really good three series of dramas I recommend you to watch uh, which also talks a lot about are we living in computer simulation kind of uh, concept and I guess matrix is kind of hard for people to understand if they don't really know a lot about this um, I mean quantum physics or spiritual thing and also if they don't know much about the computer simulation theory it's kind of hard to for them to understand the, the story of matrix but the 13th floor is kind of easy for people to understand the story goes like um, in future at future time there are some uh, computer companies or programmers who created this simulation which is just like a real world and one of the protagonists will actually go into that simulated world to solve some problems or something. It's really a nice movie actually and so I recommend people to watch so yeah we have these uh, movies and dramas which uh, tell you that maybe we are living in a computer simulation and one of the uh, philosopher who is a professor at Oxford University called Nick, Miss, uh, Dr. Nick Bostrom uh, who is from Sweden also argue that uh, we might be living in a computer simulation. His argument goes like, uh, it's pro it's like most likely that our descendants, our children, have uh, much advanced technologies, computer technologies in the future. That's most likely true, and also it's most likely true that they may be able to create some very advanced computer simulation in the future and if both of them are true then it's mo also likely that we are also living in such a computer simulation created by our descendants and that's his argument and I read that he doesn't necessarily want people to believe that we are actually living in this computer simulation, but he just wanted to present uh, a possibility that it's probable that 
we are living in a computer simulation and that possibility cannot be uh, denied completely so it's possible and so yeah we may be living in a computer simulation uh, although we think we are living in a physical universe and if you are living in a simulation if you are a character of this computer simulation you cannot actually get out of the computer simulation right so you cannot really get out and see if this is actually a computer simulation or not i guess that's the dilemma but we can always experiment in our science and try to see the evidence that we are living in a computer simulation but uh, just getting outside of this computer simulation is impossible I guess so the so in that sense the we cannot see who actually created this computer simulation the creator may be something we call as God and maybe it's um, better for the creator if we don't know that we are actually in the computer simulation because he wants some good results from the simulation and so that's the idea of uh, we may be living in a computer simulation and from here on it's my own thoughts my own opinions uh, I will bring many ideas which sounds like crazy but if you apply this theory of computer simulation it might sound normal for instance uh, there is a, a creation, creationism and also evolutionism creationism said God created this universe. Evolutionism, evolutionists argue that the this universe was just a, the result of evolution. But if we uh, apply the theory of com uh, computer simulation, then I think they are both correct. Because creationism is just like this computer programmer created this simulation in the beginning by programming the coding the the program which is the creation process and after that he's just running the simulation and the the running the simulation part is called evolution because once you created the program once you start running the simulation you don't even know what the results you will get so the creator can still observe the results of the, the simulation but he cannot alter or manipulate the simulation itself so that's the evolution from our perspective and if you think like this my long-lasting question will also be solved i always thought that if god is almighty and he can do everything he's all capable then why we still have to face all the disasters all the accidents all the sad events if he's almighty why can't he just interrupt and stop those sad events from happening but if you think this universe as a computer simulation then it makes sense because even the god even the creator cannot interrupt and manipulate the result of the the computer simulation he can surely uh, revise or edit the initial program programming but once he creates the programming programs and start running it he cannot do much about it he can only see the results and he doesn't even know what kind of result will come out from that simulation but he can just observe what's happening and that's meant by god as the almighty 
And also, some people believe in God, some people don't believe in God. If you think this world as a computer simulation, God could be just described as a as a programmer, as a as a creator. We also call those programmers creator, and maybe they are same kind of stuff. Uh, the pro the creator that created this computer simulation of this universe and the creator that's creating some pro programs in a computer in our, our world that's one thing another thing I want to discuss is about time so I've heard from so many times that uh, time doesn't actually exist or all kind of time, all process of time exists at the same time. The time space uh, theory may be also discussed in physics, like uh, relativity theory, or and also in spirituality, the people discuss time doesn't exist or time exists at the same time, all time, and. If you apply the computer simulation theory to this time time concept, you will find that from the creator's perspective, time doesn't exist or time exists at the same time, all time. Because when he created the program, all the possibilities are already in the program. In that sense, all the possibilities, all the time already exists the moment he created the program. But from our perspective, from the, the character in the, a computer simulation's perspective, we recognize time as existing, as flowing from the past to present to the future. But if you change the perspective, time may not exist like that. That's another thing. And also, there is a spiritual concept about oneness. Oneness is a concept that me, uh, us and other people and all the things that's existing in this universe, like plants, uh, planet, those clouds, all the stuff are the same thing after all. That's the oneness concept. And if you think that this world as a computer simulation, the oneness concept is just doesn't sound that crazy because if it's a computer simulation, all the possibilities exist from the beginning, which was one. And as you run the simulation, many different patterns, many different results will come out and which you you think as many different species and many different human beings or uh, the creatures living on other planets but it all started from one program in that sense the oneness concept also makes sense another concept in spirituality is parallel world or ascension uh, parallel world is also discussed in physics, so quantum physics, which uh, some of peop some of scholars believe that maybe parallel universe or multi multiverse exists. So there are multiple universes, or there are parallel universe, and also in spiritual spirituality, people discuss that parallel world might exist and also we are we may be in the in the process of ascension ascension is the concept that we are ascending from the three dimensional world to the f higher dimensional world like fifth fifth dimensional world so this concept of parallel world and ascension are also makes sense if 
you think this world is a computer simulation. Just think of this world as a game. In one game, there are many different stages. Or in a role-playing game, if you, you have multiple choices that you can make, if you choose、uh, option A, then you will go to this phase of option A. If you choose option B, you will experience a different、uh, path of the game and different、uh, outcome, different results of that game. So there are multiple stories existing in one game. And also, as you、uh, clear all different levels, you will go to Le、higher level, you know, as you defeat more enemies, you can go to level one from level one to level two to level three to level four. It's just like a, a game, so either parallel world or ascension can exist in the simula simulated universe. Another concept is the concept of reincarnation or previous lives.、Um, even in hypnotherapy and in spirituality, people talk about, or in, even in some religions, people talk about reincarnation, saying before. I'm born as this life. I had some previous lives. I had many previous lives. And even after I'm dead, I will be born as a different person living a different life. That's reincarnation. And when we are born into this life, all our old memories or previous lives will be deleted. And that's probably because the system, the program, program, programming、uh, made it like that. Oh, by the way, I, the other day I was, I found some guy who remembers all his previous memories and he was talking about his memories on, uh, On this、um, app called Gaia. Gaia is just like Netflix, but it's like a spiritual version of Netflix where you can see all k i n d of programs related to spirituality. I subscribed to that for one month and then I quit. But in Gaia, I found this guy. Maybe I, I will search his name and put it on the link. Who remembers all his past? Memories and was just talking about what he experienced in past lives. So,、um, yeah, if you think us as a computer simulation, maybe that's also possible that we have previous lives because the computer simulation can run many, many, many lives,、um, many possibilities. And yet, another concept is that our destiny. Uh, whether our destiny is decided already or do we have a free will. I've always wondering if my destiny is, is all set the moment I was born or I have my free will to change that destiny. Because the other day I read this book about the Agastya's leaf, which is, which is about this. Uh, Indian Asian saint who lived about 3,000 years ago called Agastya, who somehow was able to predict、uh, people's lives.、Um, so he wrote down on a pa palm leaf、uh, about 4 million people's destiny, lives, such as. What's his name? What he, what's his parents' name? What's his spouse's name?、Uh, when, what's his birthday? What's his parents' birthday? 
was his spouse's birthday, which day he would die, what kind of occupation he would have. And the, the palm leaves still exist in southern India, I guess. And you can still go and try to find out your own leaf. And I've uh, the book I read is about this Japanese guy going to India and finding his own leaf. And on the leaf, it, uh, it's, he found his own name, his parents' name, and all kind of stuff that was cor just correct. And how can a guy who lived 3,000 years ago know all this kind of stuff? It's really weird. And also, this guy knew that about 4 million people will come and try to find the leaf leaves. So he just left around 4 million leaves. And I'm, I'm really curious. I also want to find my own leaf. So one day maybe I will. So anyways, um, when you read st things like that, you might think maybe our old destiny is an old set from the beginning and we, c we can't really change it. Or maybe we, we have a free will to change it. But if you think this world is a computer simulation, maybe both are possible. Because from the creator's perspective, everything may be set in the beginning. Because the creator created many patterns. So all your destinies can only happen within the scope of that programming. But from a character's perspective, from a simulated character's perspective, you may also have a free will and you think as if you are choosing uh, your, you are making your own choices, uh, having free will. That's also one thing. And also in Buddhism, Buddhism, in the most famous phrase of Buddhism, chants are like everything in this world is just empty and emptiness is the everything of this world. It might sound weird when you just hear, hear it, but if this world is a computer simulation, then yeah, it's surely it's a empty world. It's just simulated. And also in quantum physics, they said when you're observing uh, an object, it will become solid, like real material. But when you're not observing it, it's just like a wave, wave status. It, if you apply a computer simulation theory to this, it's also like that. It's just like they want to save some data, uh, some amount of data they use so they just make it like when you are watching it you can see on just like a game when you're playing that particular stage of the game it's on the screen but there are many other patterns of that game that's not on the screen you can only see what you have selected what you are playing but it doesn't mean that that game doesn't have any other stages or any other levels. It all is, exists in that, um, in that chip or in that C, like DVD, CD, the game disc. It's all inside the game disc. But when you're not watching it, it's not shown on the screen. So the quantum physics is maybe talking about the same thing. When we are not looking at it, it's just like a wave. It's just the data saved in the disk. I guess because they want to save the data they use, so they don't show anything that we are not watching. Um, yeah, so when you think like that, maybe we are also in the process of this computer simulation, which is going ongoing right now at this moment. It's still continuing. And then as we are developed, uh, advanced enough to create our own simulation, now we start to use our own computer to create our own simulation, right? Maybe 
then that simulation we created some character in the simulation will be developed enough to create their own simulation and goes on and on so the the simulated people create simulation and that simulated people create their own simulation it's just like a factor fractal structure which is also how universe is like so um yeah we are in the process of this uh simulation created by god or by create this creator and yeah we are experiencing this creation process and um, together with the creator and we can also create our own experience or our own simulation something like that all right today uh the topic is fascinates me so much so i i'm talking a lot but lastly let me introduce this concept of uh lila in uh, indian ancient philosophy or indian veda philosophy they say lila means uh, can be translated as divine play meaning uh, this world is just like a game created by god the game is like the there was one god in the beginning but he became multiple existences and becoming many lives and these many lives will experience um like joy or sadness or pains in the process of its um spiritual evolution and in the end all the lives will go back to this god so it's just this world is just like a god game and so the pain and the suffering we are experiencing experiencing right now is actually just a just illusion uh created by god illusion is called maya so we shouldn't have too much attachment to those sadness or pains or suffering because um they are just illusions so because what's happening on surface in this world is just a uh, part of lila the divine play so yeah that's the the lila idea in the indian philosophy and it's also talking about the same stuff like the god is just playing a game of this world and we are the process of that game but eventually we will go back to god yep so today i've talked a lot about this computer simulation theory i I'm, i'm wondering what you guys ideas are i really want to hear your opinions your comments what's your thoughts on this topic so i'll be really happy if you can give me some comments on my um twitter gmail and other platforms thank you for listening bye bye